Meghalaya Congress also joined the nationwide Save Democracy Day in the state capital, which was observed by the Congress party across the country in protest against the Karnataka governor, Vajubhai Wala's collusion with the BGP by inviting B.S. Yadurapa to take oat as of CM office in Karnataka despite falling short of the required mandate. Meghalaya Congress staged protests at the Congress Bhavan shouting slogans, We condemn BGP and murder of democracy. Addressing the gathering, former minister and Congress Emily Amparant Lindo condemning the Karnataka development demanded that in Meghalaya the governor should invite the single largest party, the Congress, to form the government. Meghalaya Congress, however, could not submit the memorandum to the governor as he is out of station. Meghalaya Pradesh Congress Committee President Celestial Lindo said that the development in Karnataka is a blatant twist of the constitution. Whereas oppositions taking claim to form government is taking place in the backdrop of the Karnataka governor, Vajubai Wala calling on the BGP to form the government as it is the single largest party securing 104 seats in the recently held election in the 222 seats out of, out of the 224 assembly constituency. After the decision of the governor, the Congress and JDS moved the Supreme Court, following which the Supreme Court on Friday ordered floor test today at 4 p.m. to prove BGP's majority. What is going on now in Karnataka? BGP, in spite of not having a number, the governor has invited the BGP to form a government. JDS and the Congress, in spite of having the numbers, was not given a chance. So this is a blatant 